Snow White. Today we have a book named Snow White Short Stories for Kids. I think they're so pretty. I hope you guys really enjoy it. I love it. Please give this video a like if you enjoy it, and don't forget to subscribe for more stories. Thank you, reading. So, here we go. In a faraway kingdom, nestled amidst rolling hills and sparkling rivers, lived a young princess named Snow White. With skin as white as snow, lips as red as a poppy, and hair as black as night, Snow White's beauty was legendary. But her true beauty radiated from her kind heart and gentle spirit. However, in the castle walls resided another woman, the Queen Snow White's stepmother. This queen, known for her vanity and jealousy, possessed a magic mirror that spoke the truth. Every day she would ask, Mirror, mirror, on the wall, who is the fairest of them all? For many years the mirror would reply, You are your majesty. This pleased the queen immensely, for she desired nothing more than to be the most beautiful in the land. One day, as the queen stood primping in front of the mirror, a chilling response echoed through the room. My queen, though you are fair, Snow White is far fairer than you. The queen's blood ran cold. Rage and envy consumed her. How dare a mere child outshine her! Blinded by jealousy, the queen devised a wicked plan to get rid of Snow White. She ordered her faithful huntsman to take the princess deep into the forest and never return. The huntsman, who was kind-hearted and could not bear to harm the young princess, took her far into the woods but let her go, leaving her to find her way. Terrified, Snow White ran deeper into the forest, tears streaming down her face. The trees whispered and the birds chirped, but all she felt was fear and loneliness. As the sun began to set, casting long shadows, Snow White stumbled upon a charming little cottage. The cottage was so tiny and cute that it seemed to belong in a fairy tale. Exhausted and scared, Snow White knocked on the door, and when there was no answer, she timidly entered. Inside, she found a cozy, messy little home. There were seven small beds, a table filled with half-eaten bowls of porridge, and an array of tiny chairs. Snow White felt tired and hungry, so she decided to clean the cottage and prepare a meal for its inhabitants. She sang as she worked, and her voice was so sweet that it echoed through the woods. Meanwhile, the cottage's owners were not children, but seven dwarves who had been living there for years. They were miners who spent their days digging for precious gems. When they returned home that evening, they were surprised to find their cottage neat and clean, and a delicious-smelling meal waiting for them. The dwarves, known for their kindness and love for music, were initially surprised to see a young girl at their doorstep. But upon hearing her story, they welcomed her with open arms. The dwarves felt sorry for Snow White and offered her a place to stay. She gladly accepted their kindness and soon became their friend. She helped with the cooking, cleaning, and tidying up, and the little cottage became a warm and happy home. Meanwhile, the queen, consumed by her obsession with beauty, once again consulted her magic mirror. To her fury, the answer remained the same. Snow White was still the fairest of them all. She learned from her magic mirror that Snow White was still alive and living with the dwarves. This time, the queen wouldn't be stopped. Dressed as an old peddler, the queen arrived at the cottage and offered Snow White a beautiful, shiny red apple. She tricked Snow White with a poisoned apple. Taking a bite, Snow White fell into a deep sleep. The dwarves returning home to an eerily quiet cottage found their beloved friend seemingly lifeless. Heartbroken, they carefully placed 
Snow White in her bed adorned with flowers, vowing to protect her forever. News of Snow White's misfortune spread throughout the kingdom. A young prince, captivated by stories of her beauty and kindness, ventured deep into the forest. Reaching the clearing where the dwarves kept watch, he was mesmerized by the sight of Snow White sleeping peacefully in her bed. Drawn by an inexplicable force, the prince leaned down and kissed Snow White. As if awakened by a magic spell, Snow White's eyes fluttered open. The kiss, a symbol of true love, broke the curse of the poisoned apple. The dwarves, overjoyed, welcomed the prince into their midst. Soon Snow White and the prince fell deeply in love, their bond stronger due to the trials they had faced. The queen, enraged by yet another turn of events, stormed into the dwarves' cottage. But this time, the dwarves, alerted by the forest animals, were prepared. They chased the queen away, preventing her from harming Snow White ever again. Snow White and the prince, with the dwarves by their side, returned to the castle. Justice prevailed and the kingdom celebrated the triumph of good over evil and the power of true love. Snow White, with her kindness and compassion, became a beloved queen, ruling the land with wisdom and grace. And so, the story of Snow White reminds us that even in the darkest of times, kindness, courage, and the love of good friends can overcome any obstacle. The End Good job, friends. Thank you so much for reading with me. Bye, I'll see you next time.